Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to Mel Did It Herself. Today we are going to be tackling my walk-in closet in the master. Um, I say my because my partner has absolutely none of his clothing in here and this is solely my space. Um, he gets the dressers in, in the actual room and he has a closet in the other room. But you can see I have enough clothing <laughs> to make good use of the space. So. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of organizing. I have that shelf that I'm going to hang up here and then just a little bit of like decluttering um, and utilizing this ledge a little bit more. So I do tend to keep the clothes like relatively tidy and organized. Um, you can see I have them semi like color coded, um, folded nicely. I definitely follow the Marie Kondo method of folding things for the most part um, because I just find it looks tidy and you're able to kind of like see everything that you have. So I'm just starting off here by going through and folding and putting away anything that I have out. Like I had gotten a few new pieces of clothing and then this is also some laundry. So we're just going to deal with that first before we tackle any of the other stuff. To fold up the t-shirts and the bigger items, I like to do it on the bed. Um, I usually put on like a podcast or a YouTube video and do this. I just find it kind of soothing to do when I'm in the right mood for it. Um, and obviously there's more space to do it on the bed than in the room on the little dresser. So I'm just going to get all of these items away and then we're going to work on the next little DIY project to put in the space. So I have this vase that I got from the thrift store for, I think it was maybe $5. Um, and it was in this, I don't know what, kind of like an ombre effect with a bit of like droplets running down it. It was nice, it just wasn't my style. Um, so I started by coloring it in this cayenne uh, chalk pink that I had picked up from Michaels previously. Because I thought this was kind of the color that I wanted to do it in. Um, but then it was a little bit too flat and you could see those drips through it So I thought I would try this method of putting some texture on it. I've seen people do this with I think it's plaster um, I just had spackling so I just kind of started putting it on with the spackling um, Little plastic thing and then it wasn't really doing a good enough job of making it adhere So I just got in there and used my hands I let that dry fully and then I spray painted it with this brown spray uh, spray paint, sorry, by I think it's Krylon, and it needed uh, like two or three coats just because some of the like edges and stuff of the spackling didn't get fully covered. And then I just let this dry fully, and then I brought it up to the closet. So I didn't record all of it, but the next thing I did was went through every single one of the stacks of clothing that I had up on the ledges there um, on the right where you can't see right now. And I went through and I refolded everything. So just making sure everything was like laid out flat and folded it nicely using the KonMari method. Um, and then I also organized the things within each stack by the size of them. So larger things on the bottom and smaller things on the top and then if there was things that were the same color for example i have a lot of black i would try to break them up with colors in between just so i could get a visual representation of the things that i was working with and the way that i kind of classify my clothes on that shelf this stack here that i'm working on is all my crop tops and bodysuits and then i have a stack for kind of just like casual t-shirts a stack for 
like lazy day t-shirts you know like kind of nostalgic things or sports team swag that kind of stuff um and then i have another one for pants that i'm going to be breaking up and then one or two different ones sorry for um tank tops so one just for the tiny ones and then another one for my workout ones and more like cotton tank tops um that i could kind of wear day to day instead of just like around the house and I don't know. I have a method to my madness, I promise. So my next order of business I also didn't film, but I went through and made sure all of my hangers were grouped together the same. Now I don't have the same hangers throughout my entire closet, but I had, I found after looking at them that I had about three to four different types that were commonly used. So I grouped them all together. Um, the stuff that I'm working on right now is my short sleeve shirts. Um, so I'm just going through and making sure they are all facing the same direction and then making sure that they are spaced out the same amount. Um, to the left of these are all of my dresses and I did the same. Oh, and they're also color coded. I sound like a psychopath, don't I? But I mean, I just did it all in stages and it just helps with like the overall visual effect of it. So you can see I made sure that they're all evenly spaced out and doesn't it look nice? I find it looks like, um, pretty much like you're in a little like boutique, like a store. So it's nice when you're getting ready in the morning because you can just like shop your own clothes. And then on this top shelf here, I am just making sure that everything is <laughs> properly color coded <laughs> and then refolding anything that isn't perfect. I'm kind of having the bottom of the stacks um, pulled out a little bit more and then as it goes up the stack it's a little bit pushed back just so they don't lean forward and fall. Um, I find it to be like a good approach. I'll address the sheer amount of clothing in here too. I do declutter my clothes, me and some girlfriends, we often do like clothing swaps, maybe a couple times a year, um, and then I also donate clothes, but there are things here that I have that I probably wore in high school. Um, I try to buy like good quality clothing and not so much like fast fashion, sometimes I do, but um, the things that I have, I tend to keep, and if I have some stuff that doesn't necessarily fit me right now and it's a little bit too big, I do plan on having children hopefully in the next couple of years so I just hang on to it then when I know that I'll put on a little bit more weight because then I won't have to buy a whole new wardrobe so now I'm working on the shelf here so I'm just looking for the studs to see if they would line up in a way that would allow for the shelf to hang with them so I'm just marking where they are first and foremost using a stud finder and then I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna see if where the attachments on the shelf would work. And I found for this one, it wasn't the case. Um, they were a little bit too far to the left and it was gonna kind of crowd like where the clothing was and there would still be a lot of like open wall to the right of it. So it didn't end up working out. So now I'm grabbing some toothpaste and this is a method that I've seen that I think is probably the easiest to hang something, you just put a dot in the center of the space where you need to hang your shelf or photo or whatever it is, line it up to the wall and then just lightly press it so that the toothpaste transfers and then you can just wipe off with the q-tip um, the leftover toothpaste. smells minty, it's nice, it's quick, it's clean. Um, I've seen people use tape methods too but this works just fine for me. And now I'm grabbing some anchors that I'm going to, I'm going to drill into the wall and then insert the anchors and then the screw so that the shelf can hang off of the screw itself. After screwing in, I realized I made a mistake not pushing all this clothing out of the way because there was dust everywhere. And I also had a little picture that was sitting on the ground that also looked super dusty. So live and learn, it's fine. It cleaned up quickly, but then I just cleared out the space because I knew I was gonna have to drill in some more. So 
I just wanted to show you guys. So I initially um, marked my holes with where I wanted the shelf here to hang. And I put this one in, like drove the hole, put the anchor in, it was all good. And then I moved on to this one. And you can see it's kind of like caved in a bit. And that was because I was pushing harder than normal. Um, because it seemed like something was stopping it from drilling all the way through. So, um, I think what it probably was was a nail plate that I was trying to screw into, meaning that there's something behind there that they don't want you to screw into. Um, over here is the bathroom, so I'm wondering if perhaps it might be like some plumbing, maybe, or I don't know, maybe electrical. But either way, I had to reevaluate, so that was my ideal place for it to sit. So now I've marked my holes, moving it just up and over a little bit. So I'm going to try these out and I hope that it lets me, um, because otherwise I'm going to have a lot of holes to patch and not a lot of shelf to cover it. So round two, yes, went through. I was so happy and then I was really hoping that the other one wasn't above um, any sort of wiring and that it would go through fine and I wasn't going to electrocute myself trouble is real but it worked and I'm happy okay so then I'm just going to hammer in lightly the anchors into those two holes I'll deal with the other holes later and put some spackling over it um, and then if I have to I'll try and find some white paint to cover it but I think the spackling because it dries white will be okay I also just wiped off the excess um, toothpaste just so it doesn't get like moldy or like attract any ants or anything like that Anchors are in, and then I'm just inserting the screws. beautiful so my initial um, reason for buying the shelf um, which by the way I got at Marshall's it was $40 um, is because I wanted somewhere to house all of my essential oils and I had thought about buying or sorry about making um, some sort of shelf I had looked up plans for like spice racks and things like that um, and I was going to make one but then I came across this randomly and it was perfect like everything I had hoped for so I'm just putting all the essential oils and like related objects um, up there. I have a glow oil for my face that I've made that I put up there with a little candle. Um, there's my jojoba oil, which is what I use as a carrier oil when I'm making like rollers or anything like that. And then I also have an allergy roller that I put up there. I'm just trying to kind of make them look cute and color coat them or group them by make and you know just make it aesthetic now to deal with this window i'm just going to take down these um little holders that would have been for curtains to go up here um or like a blinds i should say I'm not going to put them there. I understand that people like use this as a dressing room probably and they would not want people to see through, but I don't tend to get changed in here, especially like at a time when people would be able to see in. And even if I do, you can see there's a huge tree outside and it in summer like it completely blocks the street and the neighbors. So I'm not super concerned. So I'm just going to get rid of those because they're a bit of an eyesore um, and I'm dealing with the space anyways. And then my goal is to have this um, little planter guy that you can see sitting on the window ledge hung up there. Um, it's a string of pearls um, succulent that I have in that. And I bought it as like a little baby and it has grown a decent amount. You can see that it's kind of like um, 
hanging down there. Um, but they love sunlight from what I have understood and I'm just hoping that it really thrives if I can have it hanging in the sun all day. So I just drilled in a hole there into the frame because it's a wood frame. I didn't want it to crack and I wanted to be able to get the little um, hook in there easily. So I'm just marking on the drill bit how deep I'm going to need it to go. Drilling it in here and then I'm just going to put the little hook in. Um, you just kind of like screw it into the hole and I made sure to choose a drill bit that was slightly thinner than the hook because then when I put the hook in it'll still like grip because it'll be a little bit thicker than the hole so um, when there is the hanger because it's like a few pounds um, then it won't fall out with the weight of the plant. I'm also taking this time just to use a little window cleaner because why not? Making sure everything is clean. And then I'm taking my Thieves cleaner and just cleaning around the windowsill and um, kind of like the trim and stuff, just getting rid of all the dust. This is kind of the only time that I ever take to look at this space, like the details of it. So I figured I'll give it a quick clean. Um, and then it'll help with just the overall feel of it and I won't have to deal with it for a while again. So I also took the time to wipe down the trim and the baseboards. There was a good amount of dust on them so just figured now is a good time. Um, I also vacuumed the floor. It wasn't that dirty so I didn't bother to mop it but if it was I would because like I said when else am I going to take this much attention to this space so get that out of the way. So now we're on the other side of the closet and again I'm just going through making sure that this is all evenly spaced out. I put probably like an inch in between each of them and you can see again they're all color coded, super satisfying looking. And on the top you can see I folded everything up. Far left I have my shorts, then I have my pants and my jeans I don't often wear. And then hanging I have my jeans that fit me right now and I wear often and I folded them in half with just the legs out. And here we go guys with the grand reveal. There you have it guys that is everything for today i hope you enjoyed the little mini makeover and just kind of organization of my walk-in closet i'm very happy with how it turned out i think everything just is serene and organized everything has its own spot which is the look that i was going for i think the one thing i might do is add a little um, carpet in this space i just added a little basket with a throw pillow or sorry a throw blanket um and then I also still have a boo blade in this space so I might look for another fixture but that's for another day so thanks for checking in with me and watching along um please give this a like subscribe if you haven't already and if you're interested you can follow me over on instagram at melted herself thanks guys have a great day bye